Welcome to this week's video from Del High Sustainable Farms. This week we are featuring pulling the bulls from the cow herd and we'll kind of show you that process that it takes to get them all up, get the bulls separated, and then bring them back here to the homestead. So stay tuned. So here's a time-lapse video of how we're going to catch the cow herd from the open field and up into uh, the collecting pin. If we would have been smart, we would have done this the same weekend we worked the cows, but we had kind of forgotten about that we needed to pull the bulls off the cow herd, so uh, that just kind of happened this way instead. As you can see, we put out two single strands of poly wire, one on each side. Luckily, the cows go right down there to where their water is, and so they kind of funneled themselves into a nice collected area where we could catch them up. So we're going to go down here with the four-wheeler and we're going to bring them then up toward this pin. We did have a couple different catastrophes during this event, which you will see. We lost some cows, but somehow we managed to keep just the two bulls and there is one cow we pulled off the herd. As you can see the calves are starting to go under the wire, the cows went back, and then we lost just about half of them. Which in this instance wasn't too terrible, like I said, because we still had the three animals we wanted to collect. So now we're putting the fence back up and then um, bringing them up into the barn lot. So it actually worked out with the other cows on the outside of the fence that kind of helped take them up. So I'll close the gate and now you can see how the cows are coming into the barn lot. One bull is walking here toward the front coming up closer to the camera and the other is back there at the gate still giving us a little bit of trouble. So. Um, that's the process of how we caught them from the open field and brought them into the collecting pen. We pulled the bulls off of the cow herd roughly the 1st of February. This then will make sure we don't have calves throughout the winter time and usually the calving season will be officially done about the 1st of November. So now you can see that we are sorting all of the other animals off that we don't want in the pen except for the two bulls and one single cow. You can see Kara's work in the gate and I'm the one doing the sorting. This is one of the first times we've done this by ourselves. It worked out decently, um, but again the bulls weren't cooperating quite as well. So we will switch strategies here in a little bit and put the bulls in the back alley pin instead of trying to let everyone else back out. So now we are switching strategies. I'm going to go open the gate into the back alleyway and then we will sort the three animals we want into that pin instead. It was virtually impossible trying to get who we needed to get out of the pin um, while leaving the two bulls and one cow in. So we took this strategy instead. That way, if something gets past us and goes You're with those three right animals, it's not that big of a deal. They're not going yeah. back out to the open pasture. Cow. So jump down so there now. There's Walk. a couple cows here that are trying to slip down in there, so Kara kind of stands in the way. And the one cow then kind of follows the fence um, straight that cow down in. right here. You can see she's going right past Kara and down into where she's supposed to go. Um, and then we will eventually get the two bulls to kind of turn around one is the lead bull, which is this one. He kind of does what he wants and the other one will follow. So we got him in there and then you'll see Close. the other one just kind of turns and pretty much follows him straight open, in there. Open, open, open. They're pretty good buddies. Um, and this bull kind of knows to follow the Close other Close lock. So now we're just opening the gates up back to the rest of the cow herd and everyone else in the pen can just go back out with all of their friends. Um, then we will pick up all of the supplies that we have laying around the farm here and then go get the truck and trailer. The unfortunate part about having two separate farms that aren't connected is you have to trail your animals back and forth. So um, after we get the cows out here, we'll close the gates, make sure everything's locked up tight so when we're gone the three animals won't escape on us. And then you can see we're in the truck and headed to go hook up to the trailer and go pick up the animals. And yes, I did back the truck straight into where the ball of the ball is in the back of the truck in the first try. So uh, brag on myself just a little bit here. And so now that we have the trailer, we're going to go to the other farm and pick up the animals. A lot of people when they come visit the farm, they're like, "Oh my gosh, this is the scariest bridge ever!" And we take large equipment and 
long, long trailers across it very frequently, so we're not scared of it at all, and it fits everything we need to across it as well. And so now we're turning into the driveway at the other farm. A uh, round trip between the house and this driveway is probably about a 10 minute drive. It's probably about two to two and a half miles away as well. Uh, so now we're going down the driveway and then we'll go uh, turn the truck around and back it into where we will load the animals out of. I did not back it straight into the chute area the first try. so. Um, now I'm not bragging on myself because I did have to do that a couple times before I was able to get it back in there. The fortunate part about video editing is that I made it look like I did it the first try, but unfortunately I did not. So then once I am backed up into the loadout area, I will make sure that the trailer is set up and ready for the animals to go up on it. This is a 24 foot long trailer and three animals do not need the whole thing. There are dividers inside the trailer, so I closed off the front one-third of the trailer so the animals wouldn't go up in there. That would just be more area I'd have to wash out uh, the manure out of, so the less area, the better. You may be wondering why we have one cow that we're taking away from this farm in the cow herd as well. She just did not have, she has not had a calf in now two years, and she's costing the farm a lot more money than she's making us and economically it just does not pay off to have cows that don't reproduce. So she will um, end up going to the sale barn for someone else to purchase her. Usually when they're older like this people don't buy older cows and she will end up um, being used for other purposes. So now that the animal's in there, I locked the trailer up to make sure it was road ready to head back to the house, and then we will unload the animals around where we have the barn. Um, this is where the bulls will stay for a little while. Bulls are the unnecessary part, you'll hear me say this in a little bit, um, of the farm. They are necessary, but then they're only good necessary for three months or so, and then they kind of just are in the way the rest of the time. So. Um, you can see we're crossing the bridge again, we'll turn into the driveway, and then we'll go turn around the trailer in the field, and we will unload the animals into their little pasture that I had built for them. You may wonder why we don't keep the bulls with the cow herd the entire time. And so if there were cows that didn't get bred during the time we wanted them to have calves, then they would be having calves any time throughout the year, and it would make things extremely difficult to know when we were going to be having our calving season. It would be really hard to have an even group of calves that is usually desired. They'd be all different ages, all different sizes, and for our operation that just doesn't really work out very well. So this is a lot more um, user friendly for us, only having them for those three months. So that was this week's video from Bell High Sustainable Farms. You can see the bulls are back behind me now. And they're gonna hang out here on the homestead for a few months. Uh, unsure what we're going to do with them for the meantime. They're kind of always in the way. That's the unfortunate part about cattle farming and keeping your cows birthing uh, or calving times um, within a three month period. That means the bulls are going to be uh, in the way for the next nine months or so. Uh, so if you have any ideas on a bull oasis, um, we can send our bulls too to have a nice nine month vacation and stay out of our way. Let us know. Uh, 
Otherwise, if you have any other questions, be sure to comment those below. And if you have want to stay updated on all of our weekly videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and we'll see you again next week.